All right, come on, Diesel. Fresh snow. And a big pile of garbage. We missed garbage day last week. <laughs> you know the great thing about living around here? There's another one coming next week. I don't gotta take it away. I just gotta take it to the street. Wow, today's gonna be a good day. Can you feel it? Do you ever wake up in the morning and you're just like, yes, today's the day. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's gonna be a good day though. Look, I'm still wearing my elf PJs. Yes. Three days in a row. What? It's still Christmas in my mind. What is today? It's the 27th today when I'm filming this? December 27th, 2020. This crazy, crazy year is almost over. And I hope 2021 is a little less wild. It's a poopa scoopa. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. This is a poopa scoopa. Where do you go? Come on in, you crazy animals. You guys hungry? You guys hungry? You want some breakfast? Or something along those lines? Maybe some, maybe some delicious breakfast? Maybe? Maybe? Yeah? No? I don't know, you don't look very hungry. Hungry? The day can't start without coffee. Coffee first. Coffee. In our new Tim Hortons coffee maker. Ooh. I already got their food ready here. But first, I like to have the coffee brewing while. One second here, where can I put you? I like to have the coffee brewing while I'm feeding them so that by the time I'm done feeding them, I drink my coffee. Okay. All right. One scoop. Two scoop. Three scoop. Four scoop. And a little one. Just a little. I always make a mess every time. Every time. And then I have to clean it up before Brett sees it. Because that's gross. Oh no. And you pour it in here. Just like that. Just like that. And just like that. Put that under there. And boom, put that down and you have Timmy's coffee. Well, Maxwell House in a Timmy machine. So it's Timmy's. I'm very excited. Oh yeah, you guys need your food. That's right. I got distracted. All right, ladies. You ready for your meals? Okay, Diesel, I'll give you yours first because I can only carry one while I'm carrying the camera and you eat the slowest. So you'll still be done last. There you go, your next Chevy. He eats the fastest, but actually, nope, nope, that's a lie. Wiener eats the fastest. Chevy? Wiener has his little heart pill in there because he's got an enlarged heart. This should be gone in just a bit. Hey, sit and you wait. Look at me. Hey, sit. Okay. 
and he's a little crazy over food so i like doing that just so that he has a little bit of self-control with the food uh he learns how to control himself a little bit more that way okay big frank me and you now buddy uh, big frank used to need a little bit more coaching while he eats but he's gotten a lot better haven't you come on bud he needs the seasonings needs just a touch of this dried liver that's the seasonings that he likes just a touch Move it in there like that. Crumple it up as much as you can, and there you go. He's off to the races. Good to go, right? A little bit of seasoning. You're done already? Of course you are. Of course you're done. Want the rest of this? There you go. All right, Wiener, I'm going to get you a little piece as well. There you go. Oh, don't take my hand with it, man. I'll wait till Diesel's done, and I'll give him his. How's it going over there, sport? Weasel, you done yet? Takes a while, doesn't he, Chevy? I used to have to coach this guy through his whole meal. Look at him go now. A lot of progress has been made. Oh, are you done now, Diesel? Gotta lay down. Gotta lay down, man. You want some liver? Oh, that's the good stuff, man. Good job, you all get one when you finish. Don't look at me like that, you already got yours. Let this guy go though. He's got a uh, an ugly wart on his head there, sorry. I should've told you guys about that. Uh, it's a little bit gross, but it is what it is. Supplements, they also work for traits. Okay everybody, I need y'all to sit down. Sit down, if you want your vitamins. Sit down if you want your vitamins. Weasel, I think you want your vitamins. Of course you do. Okay. Chevy, you first. Good boy. Diesel. You. Frankie. And we know you gotta sit, buddy. Why aren't you sitting? Only good boys get them. Along with our fancy, fancy dancy Timmy. Timmy coffee maker. We also got these Timmy mugs. We also got a white one. It's in there. Timmy's went with a hockey theme this year. With a donut. You get it? Nah, it's Timmy's. And on the bottom, they put an actual hockey puck. Which is awesome because then, like, it has something rubbery to sit on and it doesn't slide. And it's also a hockey puck. You don't need a coaster. Hey, you don't need a coach. That's true. I didn't even think of that part. I just thought it wouldn't slide around. Yeah, it comes with its own coaster. We're here at Tim Hortons, and it looks like there's a family having their Christmas gathering in the Tim Hortons parking lot. <laughs> All the power to them. Government won't let us do it in our own homes, and we'll find a way. <laughs> find a way. No judgment here. We're just here for Timmy's and Christmas dinner in the parking lot. <laughs> I didn't see them actually have dinner out, but I know of some other people too that had their Christmas gathering just out in like public parking lots. Good for them. I think it was mm -hmm. silly. We couldn't even have bonfires on our own land for a Christmas gathering. Yeah. Well, the snow's a little deeper than it was last time we were here. <laughs> Gonna release the hound. The hound, singular this time. Yeah, we just brought Chevy. Diesel's been having a little problem with his paws. They're sensitive, he's a, little... a delicate flower. Yeah. All right, Chev. Go find all the deer poop you can, man. Yeah. 
Something's different. Something's different. <laughs> All the snow, eh? I'm glad we were able to clear a little bit of this area last year yet. Uh, this is all looking good. Oh, those tires. Oh, I keep forgetting we need to uh, get a piece of plywood yet and cover these tires on this side. Or something, just so that they're not, they don't have the sun beating down on them. Yeah. We'll get there. So my mom and dad, like I was saying last time, bought a piece of land pretty much right behind us. Uh, they're coming out here as well today to take a look at it. They just just bought it. So I guess they want to see where they're going to put their house and uh, where they're going to put the driveway in. Because we have a, a big area cleared out here already for the most part, right? We got to do a little bit of work clearing yet, a little bit more. But they don't have this clearing already done. So I'm going to go take a look and... Theirs is a little more wild. Yeah, it's a little more wild and they want to get going right away. They want to build their retirement home there. Got a few less years to sit on their butts than us. Yeah, so they <laughs> got to get going this year, and uh, we're gonna be taking our time a little bit more. But Devers, what are you doing? Is there a nest or something under there? Chevy, what you doing? Go get it. Go get it. <gasps> it's over here. What's over there? What's that? What's that? Go see. He doesn't take off like Diesel does. No, Diesel's way more gullible than Chevy. Hello there. I'll show everybody. I was just telling them that you guys bought some land pretty much right behind us. We sure did. So they came over here to our land. I think it's right about there somewhere. Somewhere that way, I think. Yeah. So we won't be alone all the way out here. Yeah. Mom and Dad have binoculars, you know that, right? Yeah. <laughs> We're planting more trees. Yeah. And mom, mom says, did Cheryl, did you know that mom, mom said they're getting a dog. Yes. <laughs> they always had, dog always just have dogs. It has to have a heated house. Yeah, yeah I don't know, have a heated house, maybe access into the garage or something, but. Get a Chevy. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna have to get a big dog. Chevy, you're gonna have a, a uncle or, uncle aunt. or an aunt. <laughs> He's already got an uncle on the way. Yeah. He's gonna be younger than you. <laughs> So this is mom and dad's plot here. This is where the driveway will come. Yeah, yeah. Let's open that up right here. Mm-hmm. And then I'll go right in there. I make my own trail. Everyone's following the same trail over there. I make my own trail. <laughs> They're thinking about uh, buying this bulldozer as well, if it's for sale and running. Wants to, wants to the old and check it out. Right? Mm. It sounded like it might do. It's supposed to be still in working condition. It doesn't look very good, but it's an older machine. And if it still works, see what he wants. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit more work here than at our plot, but. It's also a bigger piece than ours, so. So the driveway would be coming in here, into this area here. See, so they got this little bit of a low-lying area where it's sort of like a drainage, probably gets a little wet in spring. They're gonna fill this all in and uh, redirect it. There's a uh, drainage canal on that end of the property. So all the water will be diverted and have somewhere else to go. But this is probably gonna be their driveway coming in here. And they got quite a big piece in here. Big, thick, thick bush, much thicker than ours. Because this, otherwise, I'll have to make it wide enough so I can get in here with the semi tractor anyway. Mm hmm. Like the top, I, I wanted to leave as many trees standing as possible. Exactly. And this, I'll, well, I've got some ideas on how to fill this all up here, make this into a driveway. Mm hmm. And it goes all the way back here. We can't get all the way in there right now. Everything's all covered in snow, but those tall trees back there, that's all theirs too. And I think it goes a ways back that way yet. Oh man, it's hard to find it. Hard to get in here now. 
Yeah, and this is sort of where uh, that low-lying area comes to an end. In this little area here might pool up a little bit. Maybe not. Maybe it doesn't even pool up at all. But it's just low-lying land. You got something sprayed on here. Well, That's not the property line because the property line is further that way yet. So this must yeah. have been, uh, maybe it was marked for some other reason. It must be marked for some other, uh, other reason because the uh, uh, property border lines are usually as a peg in the ground. Yeah, it wouldn't just be. That must have been marked for something else. Must have been the previous owners or something. Probably had some plans for it. Yeah. And then right here you hit this bush and everything back there is theirs. Yeah, this is as far back in as we've gone. This is going to be their retirement property, so they're going to be working hard, working fast, starting this summer. Well, yeah, we're going to have to lay the groundwork this summer yet. This yeah, summer. you want to enjoy it for a few decades yet. Yeah. Several decades. This looks like a fresh print for a deer. Oh. Is that... The deer been going through here. That makes sense. They probably sleep in this area. That's what they always slept at our old property, too. They always slept in the low-lying areas like this. Oh yeah, I'm sure nice and sheltered. Seeing them coming through here, looking for food, uh -huh. especially if we hand them some goodies every once in a while, they they know that. Mm -hmm. They remember that they come back. It's gonna be exciting to see this take shape just down the street from ours. So they're gonna have theirs all built and developed before we have ours. We're gonna take our time a little bit more. But... Oh, we'll have a whole bunch of firewood in here, though. Looks like. Yeah, I want to keep as much as you can. Yeah, that's not big branches, I think these fine, good for style fire starters, eh? Mm -hmm. A quick bonfire and stuff like that. Plenty of that. All the way down there, around the corners of the driveway is going to go there. And I guess the driveway you wanted it to come in here, right? And have the house back there somewhere? Yeah, either in here, and the house back there, or where or you were standing there before. I'm in around this other side of these here. Yeah, and then go in there kind of around and have the house. Okay, now that is south, that's north. Yeah, so you'll get the most sunlight from the south in winter anyway. So I would want to be facing the house this way, come around here, that's right, and then the garage on the side. This has been cleared though. I don't think this was naturally open. Look, look at these trees here, they've been pushed over. That's right, they had been pushed over. So that he probably marked that. He probably was pushing in a driveway here and then decided to sell. Probably, that probably yeah. It looks like it's been at least a couple of years ago. So this wasn't naturally just open like this, this low-lying area. It's probably low-lying because he dug it out. Yeah. It's probably all nicely cleared out at one point and then this has just all been overgrown since then. And it looks like also there's a whole area here. There's a bush about halfway up. Oh, yeah. I think some like at least five, maybe five, ten years ago. Uh, this was a whole open area here where somebody, that's what it looks like. Because mm -hmm. those are tall trees around, unless it just happens to be. Huh. Well, something was in here though, and those were all pushed up. It's like a snow globe out there. We're doing the smell test again. Oh, somebody else smelt it too. See, you got the wianyas there. Oh, my game started over there. I was gonna start playing and then this happened. <laughs> Leftovers, Christmas Eve. The best. The last of them. Everyone is sitting so good. So good. Wonder what's going on over here that would make them want to sit so well. Supper. Ooh. Somebody's getting a special, special supper. A late Christmas supper. <laughs> Salmon. Enjoy, boys. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. The real deal, man. This is, this is not a drill. And go. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
Oh, the soupy salmon. The salmon soup. The best kind. Chevy, chew. Chew it. We'll leave our Christmas lights up probably till the end of February, I'm thinking. <laughs> Takes quite a bit of effort to set them all up so you don't want to take them down right away. Plus we want to display our new Christmas decorations for a while, I'm sure. It's amazing what my sisters can do. They're both so creative. They took every creative gene in the family and left me with nothing. I can make videos though. I guess that's my creative side. They are so creative and always impressed. And all the way down here yet, in the office, my other sister, she loves doing this macrame stuff. And I just make videos on the internet with my fur babies. With my fur babies. Right, Chevy? You're the star of the show, man. You're one of the stars, not me. This should be the Chevy channel. Yeah, the Chevy McFluff channel. He's so soft and he smells so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll stop bugging you. So yeah, that is the end of the day today. Uh, I do end up having to work tomorrow. So I gotta be up nice and early, the crack of dawn, before the crack of dawn and be working before the crack of dawn already. So we'll be out of here. Pretty early tomorrow morning. And no idea what they have planned for us, but we'll be buzzing around Manitoba. That's all I know. Picking up, making deliveries. It's going to be fun. Uh, I really enjoy it there. So I'll see you tomorrow. Right here, right? Because you can hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to follow me on all my social media down below. That way you won't miss it. We've got all kinds of things planned. You know, like we showed today, my, my parents just bought a new big piece of land. We've got our piece of land we're going to be uh, developing both of those this summer uh, mom and dad will probably be developing theirs quicker and like i said i'll probably uh, spend a lot of time helping them get theirs ready because they need to get theirs going so that they can settle down and have their retirement paradise and uh ours we're not in that big of a rush i was already thinking you know probably around 2025 is when we can start building but we'll we'll see how the cookie crumbles as it crumbles It's just outside the door. We'll see you tomorrow. Probably, uh, probably be doing some trucking tomorrow. I'm